Thank you for watching another Spade Shades video. Um, I'm sorry for a few days ago when I had some issue posting photos to Instagram and it kind of got a, a little out of whack. Uh, I just had some unanticipated um, technical difficulties with the weather and kinds of stuff like that, but everything should be good now. Uh, we've gotten past it, so I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial over a very simple slight. Uh, it's actually a deal. It's the second deal. If you know anything about cards and you consider yourself a card guy, um, you may have already heard of this. You may already know it, and if you don't know it and you want to be a card guy, this is something that you definitely need to know. So, really quickly, I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like. You'll know that I'm using a borderless deck here. You'll notice that, and I'll explain why in just a moment. But this is basically what the second deal looks like. Okay. Now, first, let me uh, let me grab the Ace of Spades here. It's right here. Uh, so you can kind of see. Let's have like a reference card here. The Ace of Spades. All right. Now, the camera being above me, above my hands here, is kind of a a bad angle so you're probably gonna be able to you know see it or, or, or tell or whatever but that's not the, the purpose of this video is not to, to fool you so you know um, so basically this is just what it looks like here it just looks something like this okay and you can see the ace of spades is maintained okay Ooh. again just something like this and just looks something like that okay so, the Ace of Spades is maintained. Now, like I said, the angle's bad, so you may have been able to differentiate what I was doing there. You may have been able to see it. Um, you may not have been. If you haven't been, I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use a deck with a border here for the explanation so that it's a little bit easier to see. Now, the reason is, um, the reason borderless decks are easier to do this move with is because the ink being full bleed from the front here you can see that there's you can see printing on the front there's ink on the front and on the sides you can see that and it just makes it um, if I were to do a, a second deal from that angle it you can tell that it's it's almost impossible to differentiate if I was if I was to do one from this angle and this is really weird because I have no table to deal with this too but you can see that it's harder to differentiate and it's because of the printing and because of the ink being on all sides of the deck with a borderless deck but for the demonstration I'm going to show you with a deck with borders so basically to get this move down what you need to do is you need to just practice dealing cards Let me move this back a little bit you need to practice just dealing regular cards okay and really get the anatomy of this move down and learn it and learn how, how to do this and just Watch yourself do it, examine every motion and how you do it, okay? And once you do that and you think you have it down, then you're going to be ready to um, to do this. Give me just a second, let me find the ace of spades here. It's probably somewhere on top, there it is. Um, so this is our, our reference card. Now what you're doing, I mean, deal the ace of spades over here. Whenever you are dealing a card, you'll notice that you, you're pushing off with this finger and you're using your thumb and your index finger or maybe your thumb and your index and middle finger to grab the card, okay, and lay it down. You'll notice that's what you're doing, okay. You're gonna do the same motion when you second deal. That's how it looks natural. But, instead, see, you're trying to maintain the ace of spades which is going on top instead of pushing over and grabbing this top card instead of doing that you're going to push the top card over as if to grab it and c come to grab it over come over to grab it and then grab the card underneath it with your thumb okay you see how I did that you push it over come as if you're grabbing this card but use your thumb the pad of your thumb to drag this card off now this requires a loose grip on the deck you can't hold it with like a death grip because then you're gonna have a hard time pulling it out okay it requires a loose grip a loose grip on the deck just like this you should just be able to do one after another pretty fluidly okay um, so that's the first move that's basically what the move is okay kinda what it looks like broken down but there's a second little phase or part to it that makes it look even more convincing and that is 
as you grab this card and bring it out, remember you push this the top card over first. You push it over, and then you come here. I'll just go from the beginning. You push this card over, and you come to grab from underneath it. And as you're pulling this card out, you want to use use your left thumb or your right thumb, depending on what your what your primary hand is. You want to use the thumb, this thumb right here that I'm moving, and pull this card back. Okay, the card that you're maintaining, you want to pull it back. So, you can see that I just did everything all together. So you're pushing over, grabbing, and then pulling the, pulling the maintained card back. Okay. Now, so it looks something like that. Okay, in in a way, you push it over and you want to pull it back as you're pulling that that second card out. Okay, that's what makes it look convincing. Now. Um, as I said, uh, it's easier to do with a borderless deck, so I would not recommend trying to second deal on a spectator with a deck with a border. Now that's not to say that you can't do it, um, because it is the kind of thing that does pass over a spectator's eyes. But if you're going to do a second deal with a deck that has a border, I recommend you have them on this this side from this angle it's just a little bit more angle sensitive from the front it still passes off pretty good and from the side over here but from this side from your right side here um, basically from the side that, that with um, the same side of the hand that you're dealing with sorry I'm having a hard time figuring out my words today from the same side of the hand that you're dealing with the angle is going to be very very bad very bad and from obviously if they're above you uh, you wouldn't want to you know walk up to someone and say hey you know let me show you a trick and you know they're looking at it from the from the uh, view of the camera because they're gonna see it all day long and call you out on it so anyways that is the second deal thank you guys for watching spade shades I'll see you next time